three sets of brothers, a man who can lift nearly four times his own body weight and gold medalists in a sport you may never even have heard of. These are just some of the athletes who have been chosen to represent Britain at the Paralympic Games. Jane Deeth reports. The selections have been made for three Paralympic sports, visually impaired judo, powerlifting and boccia. An Italian name will give you the rules later. But first, to the judo mat. This squad trains with sighted Olympic fighters and are considered world beaters. But there's healthy internal rivalry too, supplied by two sets of brothers, Sam and Joe Ingram and Dan and Mark Powell. When we train together, I think we work positively. We certainly don't allow it to uh, ever get out of control or anything like that. <laughs> I would say that even if there is competitivism in the team, I'm competitive with everything I do in my life. Like, uh, like it's, yeah. it's so childish, but I love sort of competing, I love winning. And yeah, it's a sport, it's a game, know, isn't it? It's yeah. a game. But even general life is competition, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a race to the top. It's a race to the top, yeah, you could say that. Yeah. We live like together, train together, eat together. It's like, it gets a, it gets a little bit stressful on them. Um, on like the friendship front, but yeah, I suppose it's good like it's people that up sticks on their own, come down off their own. So there is that like element of support there. British Paralympians already have an enviable record, so bettering it will be tough. Britain's Paralympians have finished second in the medals table in the last three summer games. In Beijing, it was China who came top. The target for London 2012 is simple: to win more medals in more sports. In Beijing, we were um, 42 gold medals uh, compared to China's 89. Um, they're, the size of the population that they select from is obviously far greater than ours. Their, their Paralympic population is, uh, or disabled population, is the size of the whole British population. So you can see the scale of which we're, we're competing. But all athletes come here to do their absolute best, so they're going to be fully prepared, fully committed. Yep. Anthony pedals the definition of commitment, from the Seoul Games, aged just 17, to Sydney, where he won gold and broke the world record for good measure. How much did you actually lift? I lifted 168 kilos, which is 27 stone, it works out, and I weigh 48 kilos, so three and a half times my own weight. Now, this is Boccia. In Beijing, the British team won gold. It's a target game, it's a game of uh, skill, accuracy. It's a bit like chess, but on a boccia court, you've got to get your balls closer to the, the jack ball than your opponent. The more balls you get close, the more points you score. In Beijing, there were three journalists with the Paralympic team. In London, there'll be more than 500, and a million people have bought their tickets to see some of the best Paralympians in the world.